Mike Johnson. Congress has an immediate obligation to do th- two things. Responsibly fund the federal government. No, you don't. No, you don't. Why? Okay, what is responsible? Well, again, defining responsibility is like defining hate speech or misinformation. Who's going to define it? Responsibly fund the federal government to do what? Let me ask you everybody out here again. You can actually put your answers in the chat. Aaron will let me know what you say. What do you gotten from the federal government? I mean, what, we can talk about what we get from the local government. We maybe get some roads. We get the cops. You know, I'm a former cop. Love the cops. Firefighters. We like all that stuff. That's great, right? Paramedics. Things like that. So we get that. What has anybody ever got from the federal government? What have you ever got from the ATF, the, the uh, DHS, um, FBI, Department of Education, what, uh, Border Patrol? What have you ever gotten? I mean, the Border Patrol just lets them into your country. So what, what do we ever get from the federal government? Why do we need to responsibly fund the federal government? How about we don't responsibly fund the federal government? How about we cut the federal government starting today in half? Would that affect anybody? No. It wouldn't affect anybody except people making their living off of it and prospering off of it. Lobbyists and politicians and mass corporations as they merge with the, with the federal government, which is fascism. And ensure the security of our elections. Uh-huh. He's attaching the SAVE Act temporarily to the CR. I'll go, I'll, we're going to do this briefly. Oh, crap. I'm already, I'm already two minutes past my time. <laughs> crap. I said 1014. Man. All right, I'm going to do this quick. Quick, 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 quick. I'll be done in the next a couple months. Because we owe this to our constituents. No, Mike, you can take what you owe and shove it up your own caboose. We will move forward on Wednesday with a vote on the six-month CR. What is the CR? Of course, continuing resolution with the SAVE Act attached. Okay, first of all, you can't do anything with the SAVE Act right now. SAVE Act is to ensure that our elections are secure. In other words, the SAVE Act means that you can't vote unless you are a citizen of the United States of America and that puts it in place. I mean, that that allegedly the SAVE Act makes that concrete in law. Well, is that going to affect this election? Um, Mike, where was the SAVE Act on the last CR? Where was the SAVE Act on the last minibus that you passed in May or April of this year for $1.7 trillion that you used to fund abortions up to the moment of birth and even after birth that you used to fund transition surgeries for illegal border invaders and for United States citizens that you used to, that you used to fund in that minibus package of $1.7 trillion. You use that money to lop off the penises, breasts, and testicles of 14 year old boys. You use that money to fund the open borders and the NGOs that are, that are facilitating all of the illegals across our Southern border. So what does it mean to responsibly fund the government? Lopping off penises? Funding funding leftist NGOs in the Darien Gap that are sex trafficking children across our southern border? And drug trafficking fentanyl across our southern border? And labor trafficking women, children, and men across our southern border as a Catholic charity that's responsibly funding government? And again, that 1.7, the 1, 1.7 minibus that he passed back in April or May of this year, that's part of the $6.8 trillion spent in fiscal year 2024, which is October of 2023 through October of 2024, $6.8 trillion, and we bring in between 4 and $5 trillion worth of taxes, tax money. So we win another $2 trillion in debt, when the, when the house who owns the purse is run by the Republicans. You can say no anytime you want. They can defund the FBI right now. They can defund DHS right now. They can defund Alejandro Mayorkas right now. They can defund the FBI and Christopher Ray right now. They never do it. Why? Because they're on the same team. 